you're born and raised around horses and cattle, so you know exactly what goes into the training of horses. Uh, tell me, what's one of the biggest myths about bits and bridles? The biggest one is that low ports and snaffles are kind. But this is, this is as soft as you can get it, because where that, where that severity comes in a bridle bit is the transition between the port and the bar. The longer this radius is, the softer that it is. And the reason that it's got a pitch to it that it comes like looks like a V, if this runs straight up, it would be too close to their teeth, you'd pull it over and then clack their tooth. So in, for in general, because there's always exceptions to everything, it's going to be regardless. But 99% of them, this is going to clear the roof of their mouth. Yep. So you look at that and see this is the roof of his mouth. It's going to miss it. Yep. The last thing we want it to do is brush it. We either want it to lay up in there, or we want it to miss it completely. So my goal is you got to have rules. So mine are from the bottom of this to the top of this, two inches. And the lowest, and then whenever I go up, the top will be two and three quarters. If we go to something like this, this is going to lay up there. It's going it's, to, I really want it to lay in the roof of his mouth. I really want it to touch. I don't want it doing that because that probably his mouth open and give you a bad time. And this is an extremely soft bridle. And people say, you're nuts. You don't know what you're talking about. But it comes right back to this. See how long that radius is? Uh -huh. Tongue relief. And now, and you can pull it left and right, and that's not going to hang on his bar. This is the way, if I can show you. If you're looking at my hand, that's the way his tongue would be. This is his bar. His tongue's above it. So we want that to go over it. We don't want it to hang if we're being kind. Well, like you were asking about earlier, nine out of ten people would say these, this is the same bit, right? Yep. This bit is way more severe yep. than this bit. Up to 100%. And the the, this transition. Look at the tongue. Look what lays on the tongue. Okay, Grant, so you've gone through, how long would you have a snaffle, I guess, on your two-year-olds before you um, started looking at changing I, I pretty much, there's different types of snaffles, but I'll leave them on their whole two-year-old year. year. Um, I'll, we'll start them in a smooth snaffle and this. we got to think of a name for this. Ported D. Ported D, there you go. And that's what we work them in as two-year-olds. This and your regular smooth snaffle. Um, as if some of them get a little stiffer and stuff like that, I'll use. What I'm saying is the, the concepts yep. are the yeah. same. Well, horses are the same. People horses are, are different. Horses. If you take it, I take it from the horse's point of view because they're consistent. If you hurt the edge of his tongue, if your hands are fast, if, if you put a snaffle on him, if you uh, think about it like this, it's got to go from your mind to your hand, from, the, from your hand to his face, from his face to his mind, from his mind to his body. That's a long ways. The more you can do this, the better off you are. But everybody has a tendency to do that. That's bad business.